Oracle Unified Methodology is nowadays the only method certified by Oracle to implement or upgrade their products. It embraces all the previous Oracle methods which are now retired, such as AIM and AIM for Business Flows or ABF, which were the two Oracle methods for application implementations. EMM Easy Path Migration Methodology, Data Warehouse Methodology, CDM and CDM Fast Track, as well as Project Management Methodology. It also includes methods which came from PeopleSoft and Sybil to implement their product. It has documents and deliverables to implement Oracle middleware such as Beepo and ODI. It uses UML and scroll notations and it has a full set of processes and deliverables to address the overall ST strategy within the performing organization. OUM uses different notations which came from Scrum like user stores, came from UML, Unified Modeling Language, as well as the old requirements list and structure analysis. Each of those documents may have different notations used. Generally speaking, OUM combines three different areas. First one is called Envision, which is not meant for one specific project but for the entire organization. It provides a framework for development and maintenance of IT at the enterprise level considering governance and technical and application architecture. We may summarize Envision in three parts. First is defining an IT strategy for the performing organization. Second is breaking down such strategy into different projects or programs that will be carried out throughout the years. And third, manage organizational change to avoid people resistance and leverage commitment from the main stakeholders. This is done through two different phases. First one is initiate, where a vision is established, business process and benefits are defined. And second one is maintain and evolve which means to develop this vision throughout the many projects that will happen. Envision has six different process groups, which are Envision Roadmap, IT Portfolio Management, Enterprise Business Analysis, Organizational Change Management, Enterprise Organizational Architecture, and IT Governance. If you understand in details each of those processes, I strongly advise you to watch the long version of this OUM vision at the bottom of this page. Second area is called Manage, which is precisely like the PGM methodology version 4.1. It mixes an organizational change management plus a project management methodology and a B transition process. It has three different phases project startup, project execution and control, and project closure. And it has the following process. First is B transition, which only happened during the startup, and all the other ones, which happened throughout all the three phases. They are scope, financial, work, risk, issue and problem, staff, communication, quality, configuration, infrastructure, procurement, and organizational change management. The third area is called implement, and that's where we have all the project life cycles, meaning AIM, ABF, EMM, CDM, CIBO Roadmap, PeopleSoft Compass, and etc. So that's where we have the most of the deliverables and documents. It has five different phases, just like our UP. First one is inception, where we get alignment on project objective, on high level requirements and main assumptions amongst main stakeholders. Second phase is elaboration, where we break down those objectives and high level requirements into detailed requirements, detailed scope and a detailed solution architecture. Third phase is construction, where we build that solution. 
throughout the setups, coding and testing. Fourth phase is transition where we carry out the transition plan and go live. Fifth phase is production where we support the solution after the go live and measure the system performance. Implement area of OUM has different process groups as well. First one is business requirements. Then we have requirements analysis, mapping and configuration, analysis, design, implementation, testing, performance management, technical architecture, data acquisition and conversion, documentation, organizational change management, training, transition and operations and support. Generally speaking, we could summarize OUM in this slide. First, we have OUM Envision Area, which as I said is not meant for one specific project, but for the entire organization, where we have the initiate phase and maintain and evolve. Once a project starts, then we have the OUM Manage Area with a startup phase. After the startup, we start the OUM Implement Area with the five phases to come, exceptions, elaboration, construction, transition, and production. Throughout those five phases, we have project execution and control from OUM Manage Area. And finally, the project closure. Throughout all those three areas, we have the organizational change management approach. If you want to know in detail each of those process and documents, I strongly advise to watch the long version of OUM video at the bottom of this page. If you want to understand the relationship between OUM and the previous implementation methods such as AIM and ABF, watch the video related to these implementation projects. If you want to understand the main difference and the main similarities between the old and previous upgrade method called EMM and the current OUM, watch the video related to this section. Thank you for watching this video.